what's up everybody and thank you for tuning into USA part two in case you guys didn't know last summer I went 80 days across the United States made a giant loop and this summer I'm actually going straight across and uh, today I'm coming to you from Lexington Kentucky I drove nine and a half hours from Annapolis all the way here it was probably the most enlightening nine and a half hours of driving I've ever had in my life now you probably find that hard to believe but let me give you some background so at the University of Maryland, a lot of people are from Maryland. They say, you know, I'm from Cumberland, Frederick, whatever. And I'm like, oh, that's great. And I don't really know anything about those places. Well, today I drove through those places and I realized that Maryland is not what I thought it was. People always ask me, like, where are you from? And I say, oh, Maryland. You know what? I'm not from Maryland. I'm from Annapolis. All I ever do is go to Annapolis. I'm in Annapolis all the time. I barely go to the cities around it. Um, and I just realized that in Maryland, especially I go up on that like that upper like handle scissor thing it's very different the scenery is very different the traffic is very different and like that's where like Cumberland and Frederick and all those other places are I was like alright now I have more perspective I have more understanding of where my friends are coming from and where what experiences they had I thought that they were like me they came from Annapolis they knew that kind of city thing a lot of these other cities are very different than Annapolis I realized and I was like even in Maryland it's still so diverse which is just mind-blowing to me the other thing that I realized is like I was in West Virginia, I was in uh, Utah, I mean Utah, then Ohio, um, Kentucky, like all these places. Something that was really interesting that I saw was like not only does the scenery change, but like the car scenery changes, if that makes sense. Like there were so many like trucks and like freight being moved and like there was oversized loads like all the time. Like I rarely see an oversized load in Annapolis and like the central part of Maryland. And I saw like 20 of them today. Like they were moving whole houses. Like it was ridiculous. Um, and so that's just really like, it's just the, one of the reasons I love to travel so much is because it's so eye opening every single time, no matter what you're doing. Even if you only go like to the next city over, it's still eye opening and enlightening, just like I said. And that's what I find really crazy. And the other thing that I want to share that kind of goes along with like creating these opportunities for yourselves is one of the life lessons that I learned from traveling that I share about in my book. Um, if you're not aware, I wrote a book about my travels last summer and my travels this winter in Europe. And uh, I share about like the life lessons I learned as well as a travel guide. You guys can find a link to that. I'll put it in the description on my website and then I'll also put a video up above. Um, but like the one question or the one life lesson that I have that's one of my top ones is always ask. And that's because last summer I traveled those 80 days across the entire United States on less than $2,500. That's unbelievable this summer I'm probably gonna do something really similar really really cheap over in Europe I did the same thing really really cheap because I learned to ask like there's a lot of rejection in the beginning and like I talk about this in the book so you can go read the life lesson but today I set up the opportunity to go to Noah's Ark the Ark Encounter tomorrow if you guys don't know what that is it's a life-size version of Noah's Ark which is just mind-blowing I saw it from a distance today it's massive it's 500 feet long that's like 50 story skyscraper like on its side it's like four stories high it's like ridiculous and I only got, and I got to go and I get to do that for free now I'm not saying that anywhere you go if you tell them that you're sharing on social media that they'll give you a free ticket but like you have to provide some sort of value to them but anything that you have in your mind don't let any limiting beliefs stop you I used to be afraid to ask because I was like there's no way they're gonna give me a ticket for a free, a free ticket to a museum that's worth $40. There's no way they're gonna do that. I asked, I expressed what I was doing, I showed interest in them first, and I didn't even ask in the very beginning, I asked at the end after I showed that I was interested in that I was trying to provide value for them, which was just amazing, because they said yes, and so I get to go back tomorrow for that. And last summer I got to get free private surf lessons valued at $130, because I learned to ask. And so I just wanna challenge all of you that no matter what's going on, whether you're trying to ask for something, whether you like want to do something, like if you want to go skydive or if you want to go like ride an ATV, like these are things that I've wanted to do in the past and I asked to do and got to do. Um, but like whatever it is, don't let limiting beliefs stop you. Go for it. What's the worst that could happen? They say no. You move on. Like today, I said they could have said no to the thing. I would have moved on to the next city. I would have showed up here in Lexington. Which, by the way, reminds me a lot of Nashville, and I love it. It's like, you get the old, cool old buildings, you got the music, the jazz, uh, the bluegrass. I think the lady said it's bluegrass, but either way, like, 
I just really want you guys to take away from this video that you should never be afraid to ask for something. Never let limiting beliefs hold you back. And traveling, no matter how far you travel, whether you travel to the next city, to the next state, to the, the other side of the country, or to another continent, like any travel can be really valuable and you can learn a lot if you keep your mind open and keep your eyes wide open. So if you guys enjoy this, if you guys want to see any more about my travels, please do hit the subscribe button so you, you won't miss another upload and share it with somebody you know because my goal is to reach as many people as possible and to impact as many lives as possible. So with that being said, you can see all of the stuff around this trip with USA Part 2, um, but other than that, just Follow me on social media, whatever you enjoy, whatever is your platform of choice, I'm there for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace out. Have a